I'm gonna be walking you through my go-to makeup routine. Get your brushes ready, get your products ready. Let's go. So unfortunately, I don't have any of those hair clips to hold my hair back, so we're gonna be using good old headband. I'm pretty sure they have this on Amazon, but I think this is, this is from Burst. Shout out to Burst. <laughs> So first step is always skincare. I already went ahead and washed my face. I used the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. Um, I've been using this for like five years. For me, whenever I do my makeup, the number one most important step ever is your base. If your skincare routine is not as good as your makeup routine, then you need to start prioritizing your skincare. Base is everything. If your base isn't flawless, the makeup won't sit right. I'm gonna go in with the Glow Recipe Pore Tight Toner. This is like my favorite to put on right before I do my makeup because it has this like sticky consistency, almost like the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Then I'm gonna go in with the La Roche Posay Double Repair Face Moisturizer. Um, I usually use the Ultra Facial Cream by Kiehl's, but it does not have SPF in it and we need that sunscreen. Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite eye cream, which is the Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado by Kiehl's. It's really thick, so I use about like like that much. Little goes a long way. So I don't use the primer, but this is basically my primer right here, my baby. The Glow Recipe Watermelon Dew Drops. It is the perfect consistency of what I would want in a primer. <laughs> it's not too sticky, but it definitely gets the job done with letting my makeup sit perfectly on my face. Now this, I believe, is how your skin is supposed to look before you put your makeup on. If you're not glowing like a glazed donut, then what are you doing? Okay, so first thing I do is my brows. I'm just gonna go in with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color black. So it looks scary, but I am the perfect example of trust the process. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in with a flat concealer brush, something like that. And the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25. I think it's medium, medium. Are you, are you trusting yet or no? So whatever I have left on the concealer brush, I just kind of blend out between my eyebrows and also on the top of them. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel and kind of brush that through and keep them in place throughout the day. So I'm gonna go in with that same Maybelline concealer and just spot conceal anywhere that I have. Maybe will show up um, with underneath the foundation. Nice. I'm gonna go in with a concealer brush. So I just kind of take the brush and dab the spots in place. So I do know most people like to use a super wet beauty blender, but I like mine to be a little bit damp. It can be super dry. So I go ahead and wash my beauty blender every time I use it and squeeze all the water out of it. You should not hear any, you should hear farting. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in with my new favorite foundation. I swear when I say my new favorite, I'm not even playing. I've been using the Makeup by Mario foundation, the Surreal Skin foundation i think that's what it's called um but i recently tried the giorgio armani luminous silk and my god this is skin i'm gonna show y'all so i take like a flat brush like this and i just apply the foundation right onto my skin and then blend it out just a little bit on my forehead on my nose just wait now tell me this match isn't unreal. It's invisible foundation. I bought invisible foundation. I want my money back. No, I don't keep it. Cause, oh, insane. I always used to watch my grandmother and my mom do makeup when I was younger. So that's exactly what made me love makeup just the same as they do. I think my grandma was more creative when it came to doing makeup. She would improvise like crazy. She was the first person I ever saw, like in real life, use a lipstick as a blush. 
she would literally get her lipstick and apply it and just rub it out like that on her face so after i put my foundation on i like to go in with a cream contour or a liquid contour i personally love the la girl concealer in the darkest shade which is i think dark cocoa i think they might have a darker one but this is the one that works for my skin so i just do maybe like two drops right here because it is really pigmented i was just telling someone that i remember when i was in high school i started doing makeup when i was in middle school but once i went to high school i feel like that's when people really started like acknowledging the fact that i had makeup on i don't think anybody really cared in middle school i would wake up maybe like 10 minutes earlier than i'm supposed to to just put some foundation on a little bit of concealer and maybe some contour or some blush whatever i was feeling that day but in high school rather than in middle school people were very judgmental on the fact that i had makeup on like how is what i'm putting on my face bothering you it kind of made me feel like kind of embarrassed to use makeup because it was like i think people try to make it seem like i wasn't beautiful or good looking or pretty without it and it took me having to realize like who cares? Like put your makeup on, wear that outfit, cut your hair, like whatever you wanna do, like stop letting other people dictate how you wanna live your life. And it's funny because those same people that had something to say about me doing my makeup in high school are the same ones asking for makeup tips now. So, <laughs> who won? Okay, now that we got that blended out, very nice. I'm gonna go in with a cream blush. I used the NYX Sweet Cheeks in the color Baby Doll. And I just apply a little bit right above where I put the contour, like that. Not too much, because I'm gonna go in again with powder after I'm done. Very nice and subtle. I'm not ashamed to say I'm somebody that struggles with dark circles. As you can see, not so much bags, but just the hollowness and the darkness underneath. So at the moment, these two have been my absolute favorite. The Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 16, and the, of course, Born This Way Concealer in the shade Light Beige. So I'm not a huge fan of the whole bright under eye look. So what I do is just put a little dot of the lighter concealer in the corner and in the outer corner. And then since the Juvia's Place Concealer is a bit darker than the Too Faced one, I kind of put that in the middle. So when it is blended out, the colors kind of seamlessly go together and give that perfect under eye look that I need. So I'm gonna use this concealer and just put a little bit on my chin. A little bit up here and just a little bit underneath where I put the contour if I feel like there's excess contour where it doesn't need to be so after I apply the concealer I just like to spray a little bit of setting spray just to kind of let it set in let that dry and then I'm gonna go in with a concealer brush Now that we have that blended out with the brush, I'm gonna go back in with a beauty blender to make sure everything is just seamless and smooth all around. So I make sure the creases under my eyes are completely gone, the concealer is completely blended. And then I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in the shade 220, which is natural beige, and just lightly dab the powder underneath my eyes before I bake. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a powder puff, just kinda dab that on there and lightly dab it underneath my eye to kind of set that concealer in before I bake. Perfect. I really could leave it like that, but I do love a good bake. So we're gonna go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm going in with the same powder puff and I'm just gonna do the same thing I did with the pressed powder, dab it in. Voila. So for contour, unfortunately my palette is broken and I need a new one. I'm going in with the e.l.f. contour palette in this shade right here. Put it on the forehead because what ASAP Rocky said. Go ahead, bitch. Ain't nothing better than the pretty big forehead, bitch. So I also drag down that contour going down my neck. Kind of give that bronze look and to also shape my jawline. Okay, so I did have a bit of a hiccup. I used the wrong brush when contouring my face just now and it almost took off my entire face. So I went ahead and just baked the rest of my face besides my nose just to kind of fix that harsh line that I had going on. So now I'm gonna go in with my favorite blush which is the new 
Too Faced, I don't know if this is new, the Cloud Crush and the color Candy Clouds. <laughs> So now I'm just going to go ahead and dust all of that off. And so now I'm going to go in with a brush about that size and just contour the sides of my nose very lightly. I just do underneath a little bit just to give that lift and then following the structure of my nose just kind of lightly contouring the sides. So now the face is done. I'm just going to go in with the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Oh God and just drench my face in that. So now I put my lashes on and the lashes I use are the Kiss Royal Silk Lashes. And I'm just gonna go ahead with some eyelash glue, put it on my eyelid and let it dry. So for some reason, putting eyelash glue on the lashes and then applying them just does not work for me. So. Instead, I just go right along my eyelid where I want to place the eyelash and then apply the lashes on. Now I'm going to go in and use the Fenty Beauty Highlighter in What a Brat. So when I apply highlighter, I just take a setting spray and just lightly spray the brush that I'm going to use. And then go into the powder just very lightly and then whatever's left over on the brush I just lightly go over my nose and my brow bone so this is my favorite lip liner it's the NYX suede matte lip liner in the shade Mason this baby will stay sold out as long as I'm alive so I just make sure to take some tissue and just go over my lips just to make sure any makeup is not on there. So now I'm going to go in with one of my favorite lipsticks. I think this is discontinued. It's the KKW Beauty in the shade Nude 2. This is like the perfect nude to throw in with a good brown lip combo. And then I just kind of dab that in with my finger, kind of blend it in seamlessly with the lip liner. And then last step, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Sweet Mouth and just go over that. I also almost forgot, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of mascara. This is the Push Up, the Falsies Push Up Angel Mascara by Maybelline, just to kind of go over the lashes and then also my bottom lashes. Whenever putting falsies on, you want that seamless blend between your lashes and the falsies, so going over that with some mascara definitely helps it blend right in. So that is the end of my Vogue Beauty Secrets makeup routine, my go-to everyday makeup look, or my night out one, whichever I'm feeling that day. And what is it giving? Mmm, yeah. And let's give a quick round of applause to the edges today. They were just showing out. Absolutely. I think the boxes are checked, hair, uh, makeup, edges, attitude, aura, thank you.